All right, turning now, we're going to bring in 23 ABC's meteorologist Brandon Michaels. We were talking yesterday about how we've seen, I think it was 23 days of 100 degrees or warmer. Are we at 24 today? Yeah, we absolutely are. 24, 101 the high temperature today. Current temperature in Bakersfield, 100 degrees, which is actually a degree cooler than this time yesterday. Very, very dry humidities under 20%. Plenty of sunshine all across the, the county with not really a cloud in the sky here. And tomorrow, this looking like 25 days because we're going to be up to about 100 degrees by the mid-afternoon. It's going to top out about 103. So I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit warmer than today. About to actually probably about 4 p.m. We'll be up to about 104. Uh, and that's where your high temperature for tomorrow. So 104 for Bakerfield, 103 for McFarland, 99 at the base of the grapevine. Even hotter in the desert. Look at uh, China Lake there, 109 degrees and even a couple of 100 degree readings up toward the Kern River Valley. So it's going to be very hot all across the county tomorrow. Typical winds 10, 15, 20 miles per hour in the desert. 5 to 10 for us here in Bakersfield, getting a little bit breezier as usual into the evening hours. Air quality remains poor as well, unhealthy for sensitive groups. So no changes there, just not a lot of change in the forecast in general. I think tomorrow at this point is looking like the hottest day of the next seven. 104 degrees again on high temperature, up to about 102 for Thursday, 103 for Friday. So we continue that heat wave. By the time we get to Saturday, that'll make it the longest heat wave of the season. And we stay in the triple digits from there. So very hot for the next seven days, triple digits for the next three days in the Kern River Valley. Again, the next couple looking like the hottest and then a slow fall down into the upper 90s to Hatchapi into the 90s through the weekend. A couple days in the 90s for Fraser Park as well. 89 for Saturday and Sunday and then we actually get a tiny bit cooler as we head toward the end of the forecast but still above average for this time of year. The heat wave definitely here not going anywhere. There are a couple of hints that maybe by next week uh, this might break but uh, I wouldn't uh, hold my breath on that. Okay, we'll keep our fingers crossed yes, though. Yes, that's a good idea. Alright, thanks for that Brandon.